Exploring and sampling the delta deposit in Jezero, or Jezero Crater, is why Perseverance was sent here. But on its first attempt to expose a fresh rock surface, Perseverance used a little too much force on this episode of Mars Guy. On Sol 439, Perseverance reached the lowest layers of the ancient delta deposit and started a reconnaissance campaign to find the most promising rocks to sample for eventual return to Earth. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Fine-grained clay-rich rocks called mudstones are known to capture and preserve microbial organic matter on Earth, so they're a good place to look for evidence of life on Mars. Perseverance made two drives for about 100 meters along possible layers of mudstone before stopping to deploy the equivalent of a geologist hand lens to take a closer look. But first it had to reach out with its 2 meter long titanium robotic arm and touch the target. That's where the little known device with the unglamorous name Facility Contact Sensor comes into play. The FCS provides literal ground truth to help the arm accurately place its precious cargo. This ensures that none of the multi-million dollar instruments it carries gets jammed into the ground. It's basically a plunger switch that gets pressed into the target and triggers with less than 22 newtons. That's about 5 pounds of force. Here's a context image from Watson with a quarter for scale. And here's the location of the placement of the FCS. You can see a partial imprint of the plate and some pebbles that got disturbed. The close-up image shows a lot of sand grains on top of the rock, but in the rock itself, it's hard to make out any grains, which is consistent with a mudstone. Perseverance continued on for another 68 meters to a larger exposure of the rock layer. It's there that it spotted this bit of layered outcrop, which looked like a good target for more in-depth analysis. Here's the view from MassCam Z showing the thin layers. There's also a strange white chunk of rock that looks a bit like a piece of bleached bone, at least in some Martian fantasy world. It may be a piece of gypsum vein, like the one observed by the Opportunity rover in Meridiani Planum. On the next saw, Perseverance maneuvered around to the other side of the layered outcrop, maybe to get a better angle for the arm. This time, the abrading bit on the drill would be deployed to grind a fresh surface for the instruments to observe. The force used to hold the arm steady in this case, called the preload, is 300 newtons, almost 70 pounds. It was probably this preload that crushed the rock, but if the grinding operation used both the rotary and percussive action, that hammering may have done some damage too. Despite the impressive damage, the grinding produced a nearly complete circle, as shown in this mass cam Z image. The Watson view provides beautiful detail and clearly shows the fine grain texture of a rock likely produced in the calm, deep water at the front of a delta, a good spot for mud and possible microbes to collect.